What is up everybody? I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Chapter 2 Season 5. So for this video I'm going to talk about the Battle Pass, give a review on the Battle Pass, and then I'm going to give my review on the overall gameplay of the season. So let's start out with the Mandalorian. Okay, even though this is a collab skin, I actually really like this skin. It's, you know, I know, it's another Star Wars skin, but this one is pretty cool, especially when you upgrade it all the way. I don't really like his first stage all that much with all his cheap armor, but when you get your best, when you get the um, best car armor, it's actually pretty good. It's actually not too bad. This is a pretty solid collab skin. Okay, then we have Reese. Uh, to be honest, I did not use this skin all that much. Um, I kind of like the pink style, and I kind of like the gold style. It looks kind of cool. I don't really have much to say about this skin. It's just kind of a basic looking skin. It's nothing too crazy. And then, uh, we have Maeve. Okay, that, that's, that's the name of the Viking chick. I almost forgot. We have Maeve. She's pretty cool. Um... I mean, I didn't really use her that much, but it's a pretty unique skin. I like the bird wings, and then I love how she turns into a flipping dolphin. I mean, that's pretty epic. It's a pretty solid skin, and when he, she swims, it's, it's a freaking dolphin. Like a dolphin and an eagle. I mean, it could be two of those in one skin, but I'm not really too much on this skin. So, let's move on to the next skin. We have Mancake. I almost forgot about Mancake. Main kick is pretty cool. He's definitely a fun, funny meme skin. I mean, his style when he's like a freaking cowboy, and he has an all black style. Okay, that that is pretty cool, and it's also pretty meme, very epic. Okay, so let's move on to um, shoot. What what what's what's the freaking anime chick name? Lexa. There you go. So um, I'm not really a big fan of Lexa. It's just a weird anime skin that nine-year-old sim for she's like oh my gosh oh my gosh Alexa you, you have short shorts on oh my gosh my animal my anime wifey waifu I think yeah my anime waifu like chill out nine-year-olds it's not that great of a skin but but to be honest this skin is actually pretty cool with her second style okay then we have menace menace is a pretty solid skin in my opinion I mean I like his uh, last style when he has the gold skulls on with the purple glow I mean that style is pretty badass I'm not gonna lie about that pretty solid skin we have condor okay this is like best for last right here or no 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 well there's one other skin but this is actually part of the battle pass so we have condor he is pretty cool i really like his style when he turns green he turns into a flipping pickle pickle condor that's what his name is probably the funniest crap ever and yeah he's he's pretty he's, he's a pretty solid skin all right we have predator okay you know the edge lords you know what combo they like to run they like to use the predator skin with baby yoda because you get it Child Predator. Yeah. Yeah. Predator, he's a pretty good skin. I really like the Predator movie. You know, it's another collab skin, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's talk about the overall gameplay now. So, let me... So, let's start out with the features this season. The new exotic... So we're going to start with the exotic weapons and the NPCs. So the exotic weapons were pretty cool. These were just special weapons that you just buy from the NPCs. And they were actually pretty cool. There's like so many of them. There was a freaking fire sniper, a boom sniper, and what else? And then you can also get a rocket launcher. It's not really exotic from the NPCs. And these were just really cool. Okay, the... Boom Sniper just blows up the buildings, the Fire Sniper, I mean, these guns are not, like, insanely overpowered, but they're fun to use, and they're still fun to ignore sweats, because, you know, sweats like to cry over them. Okay, but, uh, some of them were kind of useless, though, I wasn't a big fan of the Nighthawk, I mean, it wasn't really worth spending gold with, I mean, it's just really not too great, but for the most part, the exotic weapons were pretty cool, and I really loved the NPCs. Because with NPCs, you can hire them, you can do challenges, so you can get gold or XP. So far, it's pretty good. Pretty good. 
update so far, or season so far. Now let's talk about the Christmas update. We had a decent amount of content this season, where the map turned into snow and we had planes which were, they were a bit trash. The reason they were a bit trash is because they run on feel, unlike in season 7, which you can do it for an unlimited amount of time. Uh, they just run out of fuel too quickly, and then you're just stuck, and then sometimes the planes flip, and you can't flip them. You can't get them to the right side. I mean, they were just a pain, in my opinion. So we got two free skins this season. I mean, they were way better than last season. Chapter 2, Season 1, I mean, by far. And then we got the single long emote, which was pretty fun to do with friends. I'm not going to lie about that. And then we, then towards the end of the season, we started to just get a bunch of collabs instead of updates. I mean, the collabs were cool for the most part. We had skins like the Terminator, we had the Predator, we had Flipping Alien, which was pretty cool. And the Strike Fighter skins were pretty cool. I mean, I remember Chung Lee, people were like, oh my gosh, she's so thick. Like Cypher PK said that, I mean. I mean, I don't blame him. It's a pretty good skin. She is kind of thick, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so towards the end, I felt like they were just doing more collabs than, than updates, which the game got kind of stale at that point. And it's not really that much of a deal, because I just decided to play other games. Overall, the season was pretty decent. The start of it was pretty damn fun, I'm not going to lie. But towards the end, it felt like we got more collabs than updates, and I wasn't too big on that. But overall, the, the season's pretty decent. Overall, I'll give the season a 7 out of 10. And, yep, that's my thoughts on Chapter 2, Season 5. Anyway, guys, see ya. Hello, everyone. It's me, Steve's editor, also known as Dark Bean IDK. This video took an hour to edit, and now I want to die of AIDS. So if you could please sub to my channel or just visit it link is in the description. I am being held hostage help me by downloading Raid Shadow Legends thank you.